Hello, 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 people of God. Welcome to our channel. God bless you. Today, um, we're coming your way with a quick word, and it's based on Revelations chapter 21. Before we continue, let's say a quick prayer. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your faithfulness and your love. We thank you for your word that cleanses us, builds us, and exposes us to you in new dimensions every day as we study, as we connect with you. Let it be light, illuminate our understanding, our knowledge and revelation of you, and help us to apply your word as we hear it today. Holy Spirit, have your way. Do what only you can do. Bring hope, encouragement, boldness, confidence, clarity to all who need it right now. In Jesus' name have we prayed. Amen. Um, I'm just going to say a quick word. It's centered, as I said, on Revelations 21. And when you read the New King James Version, the chapter is captioned, All Things Made New. All Things Made New. This word is for someone whose season is being transitioned. The Lord wants to tell you that all things have been made new. Hallelujah. All things have been made new. You have been around this mountain for too long. He's given you a new life, a new season, and God wants you to forget about the old. Now let's read the text in uh, Revelations 21. It says in chapter 3, so I'll read the context and then zero in on what is relevant to us. Verse 3, and I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed. God is telling you in Revelation 21, verse 3 to 4, that he has come to dwell with you. You are his temple. If you are a believer, God is already for you, lives within you. He's with you right now, whether you feel him or not, because we walk by faith and not by sight. And he's also telling you that the former things represent tears, death, sorrow, crying, pain, all these. So if you have experienced a season of loss, especially loss, tears, sorrow, pain, and mourning, anything that represents tears and pain is not necessarily the will of God unless he's taking you through a training or a process and, and building your character. Hallelujah. But he, he spe he's speaking specifically about the things that have happened to you as a result of living in a sinful world, as a result of the actions of others, as a result of what other people have used their free will to do. So anything in your life that represents pain, God says the former things have gone. And in verse 5, he says, Then he was sat on the throne and said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, and this is the angel of the Lord speaking to John, Write, for these words are true. Chapter, verse 6, And he said to me again, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega. Your father is saying that it is done. The new thing is done. It is completed in the spiritual realm. Your old uh, season is past. What you knew, what you've been praying about, fasting about, talking to him about, is done with. The new has come. He wants you to welcome it, position yourself, pray into it, study Revelation 21 further, talk to him about it. You want to uh, ask God, go back to him in your relationship with him and ask him what he needs you to do in order to be ready to receive the new that he has for you. Hallelujah. 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 So brethren, that is a word for you now. What this reminds me of is Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19. It also talks about God doing a new thing, right? Verse 18 says, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. 
Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. He is doing a new thing. God is going to blow your mind. If you read Psalm 126, it says, When the Lord turned our captivity, we were like those who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. Indeed, we responded, The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled for joy. So brace yourself for the new that the Lord has for you. He loves you. He is a loving God. He is loved by nature. He is generous. Therefore, he wants to change your life. He wants to change your destiny. Uh, thank you, Lord, for this word in Jesus' name. Amen.